Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to see about the conditional split transformation in Azure Data Factory. First we will understand when we have to use a conditional split transformation and then with practical we will try to see how actually we can use in Azure Data Factory. So let us start with that. So conditional split transformation, it is similar to the case statement which we use in a programming language. So in a case statement what actually we use? We use a certain condition and based on that certain condition we try to divide our row into a based on the certain condition for taking example suppose you have a uh, address location suppose this address you have a India suppose you have a US suppose you have a UK data now what actually you want you want to write a certain condition if India is there then you want to put one if US is there then you want to put two if UK is there then you want to put three so how actually we can achieve this so in a programming language we use a case statement and based on this uh, particular data we try to write certain condition and based on that we try to derive a, a new value similarly here also to do that we we can use a conditional split transformation let's take a, one example and with that example it will be more clear so suppose i have a one of the storage account in this storage account i have all the employee information what is employee id name location everything is there so suppose we have a id and the location of the all the employee whether they are belong to the India, whether they are belong to the US, whether they are belong to the UK. All the employee information I have in a single file. Now what I want, I want to split that. What actually I want, whatever the India employee information we have, that should flow into the separate container. Whatever the US employee information we have, that should flow into the second container. And whatever the UK employee information we have, that should available into the separate container in a separate file. So how actually we can achieve this? So this actually we can achieve with the help of the conditional split. So what we will write, we will write a certain condition based on the location. So if the location is India, then it should flow into this particular container. If it is a UK, then it should flow into this US location. If it is a UK, then it should flow into the this particular location. So that is the practical we are going to do. So we have ID location and we will write conditional split split transformation and we'll try to divide India data into a separate container, US data into separate container, UK data into a separate container. So that is the practical we are going to do. So I will show you. This is my storage account. So I have an input container. In input container, I have an employee information. This is the employee location file we have. So if I'll show you file. So this is the CSV file. So you can see we have employee ID name, salary and the address, India, US, India, US, UK, UK. So three location we have and now I want to separate it out. If India, then it should flow into the India container. If it is a US, then it should flow into the US container. If it is a UK, then it should flow into the UK container. You can see I have also have a UK employee container, US employee container, India employee container. Here only it should save. As of now, no file is available here. So now let's do a practical. So I'll go to the my data factory. So this conditional split transformation comes under the data flow. So we'll create a data flow. Click on the new data flow. Click on the add source. First we'll see a to add a source. So what we will do first we'll create a data set. So where actually our file is. So our file is available in a blob history. So we'll create a data set for that. It is in CSV format. So we'll select that. We'll create a link service so that we will be able to access over the storage file file right which is available in storage location so i'll pass the storage account name azure subscription and i'll just click on the create now after that we will see we will pass the file location path now in file path where actually our file is available it is available into this input container so i'll select that so i have given the file path i selected this particular file first row is header click on the ok now our source is now ready if you want to preview click on the data preview and you have to open the data flow debug and you will be able to preview your data so that is how you have to debug so that is the thing you have to remember as of now it is rotating that's why it's not coming once it will complete you will be able to preview your data now what we are going to do we are going to split our data right so what we will do click on the plus you can see we have a conditional split so we'll click on the conditional split now here we can write a multiple condition now here you can see conditional split setting so you have to give the stream name split on the first matching condition all matching condition so here you here you can see split on so we have two options first matching condition second is the all matching condition whether the first matching condition should be satisfied or all matching condition should be satisfied so i am clicking on the all matching condition and here you can write a multiple case statement 
so add conditional stream like that you can add a multiple now what actually i want to do i want to divide my employee india so what i will write i will just write a india you can give any name here stream name now here you have to write a condition so what you can do you can double click here into the any this will open now what we will use we will use a equal expression so what i will use equals you can try first expression and the second expression so in our file if you will see in a input file we have a, a location column right that particular column we will try to check whether it, it contain the india or not so you can see we have a address column so what i will write equal address address should be india so i will pass india if it is equal then it should go into the employee condition so i'll click on the save and finish if it is address is india then it will flow into the india and i will write usa i will write the same condition what i will write equal i will write uh, address address should be us so if i'll show you in my file it is a usa so i'll write a usa i'll click on the save and finish similarly i want to add one more condition so i'll what i will do I'll click on the plus add a conditional stream and here i can write a one for the uk and here also i will write the same condition equals equals will match whether uh, whether it is equal to that particular condition or not whether address is equal to uk or not click on the save and finish now if you want to preview your data what you have to do you have to click on the data preview click on the refresh once you will refresh you should be able to preview your data so you can see from the source one whatever the file we had we are trying to divide into the multiple file from india us and the uk let's see whether it is working or not so in india india file only it should flow india data it should flow from usa usa data it should flow from uk uk data only it should flow now you can see so output stream you can see we have a india us and uk so in india you can see we are getting employee id 1 and 3 which is belong to india so if i will show you id 1 it belong to india and id 3 belong to the india so usa is belong to the 2 and the 4 so let's see whether 2 and 4 is coming into the usa or not click on the usa you can see 2 and 4 is flowing now what actually you can do you can add a sync location here and you can particular place that file so i'll add the sync location so what you have to do you have to create a, a sync location blob storage and uh, after that you have to just pass the particular location file so you can use the same link service and here you can pass like particular location so the india should go into the india container right so i'll just pass that i'll use that click on the ok similarly for the us also you can add the sync or you can what actually you can do you can do a parameterize that will better so same link sync you can use that for multiple purpose otherwise you have to create a multiple data set here also you can add csv file and the same link service and then the file path so us data should go into the us similarly for the uk also you can add so as of now i'm not doing i'm just going with that now what i will do i'll create a new pipeline and i will just drag this data flow what i will do i'll click on the publish and i'll try to run the pipeline you can see publish is completed now click on that trigger and trigger now click on the ok go to the monitor your pipeline should start running let's wait it to be completed you can see it is succeed now if i'll go to the particular location the blob storage location so in india employee only india employee file should be available uh, so you forgot to add a, in a single partition click on the edit if you will see only india file is available into this india container similarly for the us and uk so i hope you got it how easily we can use the uh, conditional speed transformation